Okay, so I'm on my way down um, to do some plein air painting. I don't feel like going down. I want to stay on the couch and be lazy and do nothing. But it is a beautiful day, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, look at that, you guys. I could stay right here. Yeah, that's quite beautiful. Let's keep going. Okay, so this is what I want to paint some version of that, maybe. A more close up. Let's see how I can do. There go my paper towels. All right, well, I haven't got anything to wipe my brush on. Oh, I've got a towel. I brought a towel in case I wanted to go swimming. I can ruin the towel, right? I suppose so. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know that in this video, I wasn't able to set up my phone on the little stand down there because it was just windy enough that it kept knocking it over and I was in danger of losing my uh, my cell phone um, into the sea. So I was only able to stop and um, film a little bit and letting you know what I'm thinking, but I was not able to, um, to show you uh, in real time uh, how I was painting and what I was doing. So um i'll figure out a solution for that and you know the next one will be better okay so i just put in um kind of a sketch to get the outline in let me switch it around so you can see okay that's what i've got it's that scene over there that big front rock i'm not putting in because it will stop the flow what i'm trying to do is just get a sense of the placement of the rocks I'm very very much not even done with the uh, initial sketch I'm not going to do a full sketch I'm just gonna move in with the the darks and the lights and and start working from there I can see here that there is a lot of similar sh size shapes which I'm gonna have to work with and try and get a sense of everything moving towards the big rock. As you can see, it's not doing that. Uh, all sorts of different sizes and shapes and all over the place, but I'm going to try and get a sense of coherency to move everything towards, you know, this area here, which will be my, my focal point. You can see that I've drawn the anatomy of a rectangle and through that using that little trick, that little Fibonacci hack, and have got my focal areas. The Fibonacci point will be right here, essentially. If I'm, you know, you would measure it from this spot. These are where the lines are crossing here, going straight up. And from this start going across, this would be another Fibonacci spot. And you can do that on all sides of a canvas. I have a video on that. I'll put it up here. You can see the little um thing so this is where i'm at we got some clouds where it was sunny before i was hot now i'm cold ah, yeah but it's quite beautiful so let's see if i can get anything uh anything worthwhile done today okay i'm going to talk about my palette i have just the primaries plus raw umber uh today and it's titanium white, which is going to make things a little bit chalkier than the flake white hue. 
the replica. I don't have the actual lead white. I think I can get it here in Greece. But it's a warmer white to work with. This one is cooler and becomes chalky when you mix it with other colors. So that's what I'm going to be working with. Just the primaries. I have a uh, cooler, darker, cooler red and a lighter blue today. This is a cobalt blue. I'm usually using ultramarine. So we'll see how that goes. All right. And as you can see in the actual scene, there's a gazillion different rocks and the point is to kind of mush them all together and just create some big shapes rather than a bunch of tiny little shapes. That's what I'm doing here and uh, that's basically what I'm painting. So just trying to get the values right and squinting down and you know working with that. Let me get back to this rocks the rocks in the background here are the wrong value they need to be a little bit darker as you can see mixing everything all together i'm not one of those neat people who does little separate piles one pile moves into the other but in a sense if you learn how to mix colors and not create too much mud it works and the thing is is that you want most of your colors on your painting to be gray grayed down versions you know you never really want to take the colors straight from the tube that's not going to work so that's what i'm working with right now i'm gonna you know i'll just do it right now and this will be my you know a gray and i can take this gray and mix it into any color yeah, maybe we can do that and i'll take the yellow which is you know bright mix some gray in it and it just tones it down quite a bit this is leaning a little bit to the green side which means it has more blue in so i can put in a little bit of the cool red that I have, a quinacridone, and it will make it just a little bit warmer and orangey. And I gotta say, taking my my swimming towel, which is nice and fresh and clean, <laughs> and using it to wipe off my uh, brushes was really hard. I don't know. I have a I have a hard time with that. There we go. But you know, okay. It's just a towel. I don't know. I, it's just one of my things. I get I get kind of freaky, freaked out about it. You know, the idea of ruining a perfectly good towel. Okay, here's a very rough lay-in. I think I think I'm pretty happy with the shapes. And as you can see in the actual um, scene there's a gazillion different rocks and the point is to kind of mush them all together and just create some big shapes rather than a bunch of tiny little shapes so that's what i'm doing here and just trying to get the values right okay so i'm going to just let that settle I think I'll sit and do a meditation. I love this rock. It's great to jump off of. And that rock formation way in the back there is another one that I love to paint. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Check it out, you guys. Look at this. You can see the um, the rope that I was climbing up. It goes up there. It's lovely, isn't it?
what I am happy about is that I've gotten closer to getting the right color of the rocks here, which I tend to paint more ochre um, color than what they really are. And I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, uh, there's almost a, a greenish tone to the to the rocks to the darker ones the ones that are dry dry are uh, warmer and have oranges <clears throat> burnt sienna and uh, burnt umber type colors not in their regular out of the tube but lightened up quite a bit so uh, so I'm getting a better feel for the color of the rocks and that's that that makes me happy um, trying to paint more of what I'm seeing rather than what I want to paint as an exercise. I think either way is good, but I want to try and uh, paint what I see, get the colors right, because, well, you know, nature doesn't mess up its colors, <laughs> does it? Um, my biggest difficulty with um, is painting the sea, the colors that are in the water and the reflections and things like that. I tend to go too blue. The only way to get over that, uh, finally get over that, is to spend more time out, out painting the sea and not from photos. So as the weather begins to get warmer, I'll be doing more of that. Okay, I'm working on the water. Uh, area in here. I don't know if you can see how uh, how green it is. Of course, this is close up. I'm painting that area over there. But I want to bring some of this green uh, into this painting as if we were standing closer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, basically mixing the cobalt blue with the uh, cat yellow and adding a little bit of the grays uh, that I that I scraped off the palette earlier. Hope you guys can hear me, it's kind of windy. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Let's keep going. So this is what I've got right now. I guess you can't see it very well. Let me get closer. Give you a close up. Hold on. You can hear me I'm trying to get um, a movement towards the focal point area. And that has to do with darkening the rocks. And that is how they are. They're dark around the bottom with the ones that are close to the sea and they get lighter as it moves up. And trying to get some some depth in the water still working on that so this may be my first wish me luck So I'm going to stop here and sit down and relax and enjoy this beautiful, this beautiful area. I think, I think it turned out all right. There's so much to learn when you go outside to paint. If you really want to learn how to paint anything, go outside. Uh, it's challenging, it's beautiful. There's so much to learn. So,
girl.